Happy Thursday, friends. I can't pick this box up and show you because it's big and it's kind of heavy. So I think I know what this box is, but it could not be what I think it is because that's how Sensi deliveries go in my world. Ooh, it is the one I think it is. Yes. I was like, if not, we'll just open this up and we'll have fun anyways. But if it is, it'll be exactly what I was hoping it would be. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to get to the exciting stuff last. All right. Ooh, pods. Y'all, I needed new pods. So... Just so you know, some, like, our pods have been, like, wa 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 I was going to say rapidly selling out and wildly popular at the same time. Some return today, lots have been sold out, but these are some of my favorites. First day of fall, and then the three um, holiday ones are still available, and you need these. The Happy Holidays, Feel and Pine, and Berry Blessed. Y'all. So, stocked up on some pods because I need to change mine out so badly. Ooh, the exciting stuff. Um, I got laundry. If you're not using Scentsy Laundry, pink cotton is my jam right now. And ironically, I literally used the last of my washer whips today. So, good timing on that. Scentsy Laundry. Cool, cool. Let's put that out of the way. Put the pods out of the way. See, I'll go through the not fun stuff first. It's on top, so it actually worked out. Um. <laughs> All right. I have... Do you want to go villains or do you want to go monsters? Villains or monsters? Villains or monsters? This is the question. It's the great debate of whatever today is October 21st <laughs> right 21st or 22nd whatever today is uh 2020 so all right Vicky answered first Vicky gets villains because that's what she she was the first person to answer so this is Vicky I live an hour and a half from a distribution center I tend to get stuff very quickly so this is the villains wax it comes in this cute little, it looks like a spell book. Look how pretty this packaging is. The binding is like got the, can you see it? Oh, there it is. It's got the apple and the vines on it. All right. All right. Oh, on the side. Look at the side. It says Evil Queen, Ursula, and Maleficent. Oh my God, this packaging is so pretty. What? Okay. Photos never do it justice. Okay. Oh my god, I can smell one of them. Maybe it's all of them. I don't know. One bite and all your dreams will come true. But look how pretty this is. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's sniff them. I cannot read the descriptions on here because, wow, that is very purple on very black and it's like partially shiny and very tiny print. Like, I don't even know if you can see. Like, it's like... There is purple, right? you see the purple vaguely there? Yeah, I don't know how anybody would read that. Um, so, I did not know it was gonna be so hard to read. I'm gonna open this up and pull them out while my information loads here so that I can tell you what they smell like, what they're supposed to smell like, because I'm gonna tell you what I think they smell like and if they're good. So these can only, these can only be bought as the set. Unless you have a Scentsy Club set up, you can add them individually in your Scentsy Club. So do realize that you can add these individually. So if you don't want the whole three pack for 20, you can add these individually um, in your Scentsy Club, right? So just make sure you know that it's good to be bad. It's good to be bad. Okay, here we go. The first one that's on the list is Just One Bite. This is the Evil Queen. This packaging is amazing. Look at that. Look at the... Oh, it's so pretty. 
Evil Queen. It actually says Evil Queen kind of tiny above here, but just one bite is the scent. This is Poisoned Apple. Oh my God, this is the one I smell. Holy cow. Um, blends with warm cinnamon. Uh, uh, or Poisoned Apple hidden deep in forest woods. Blends with warm cinnamon and menacing black molasses. Oh, see, this is what Cider Mill should have always smelled like, guys. Sorry, I am not a Cider Mill fan, except for in the clean products. Like, the clean Cider Mill scent, uh, products are amazing. This has the right amount of apple. Okay, I love this. But, like, black molasses in there, it makes the spices in it not quite, like, vomit-inducing. Not quite. It makes the spices not vomit-inducing. Cider Mill actually made me throw up, throw up the first time I smelled it. It was too much. Fun fact. Fun on fact. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. This is a really good, it's like super warm. It wasn't lying. Like the warm cinnamon. I don't even really super smell cinnamon. Like there's spice there. Mmm. This is a really nice, like cinnamon apple, which is that like the way molasses sweetens is so different than like vanilla and things like that. It's so much more rich. Mmm. I like this a lot. I can't wait to warm this. <laughs> I won't get it. I'll get that again. I'm going to smell the bottom side again. Yes. All right. If you like apple-y cinnamon scents but want one that isn't basic, bitch, like this is like deep. This is like lots of layers. This is really, really awesome. So this is the Evil Queen Just One Bite. Because again, you can add these individually in your Scentsy Club and they'll make them for you forever, ever, okay? All right, Mistress of Evil. Look at this packaging. I am obsessed. I did not think we would ever do villains things, and I, like, literally cannot. It's all, like, the Disney packaging is so beautiful. And this is just, it's a nice purple one. Um, this is, we'll see how I feel about this one. Um, it, it's a, it's, it's a mix-up. We'll find out. Um, ooh, just kidding. I just got a whiff, and it smells so good because I opened it. <laughs> It's fine. Everything's fine. Gard uh, Beauty of Gardenia meets Malevolent Musk. Um, while Juicy Blood Orange drips over Satsuma Plum for the sweetest revenge. I was worried about the Gardenia because I am not a huge floral person. And Gardenias are like very, very perfumey. But holy crap. As soon as I go, this is the one I smelled in the packaging. Oh my god. Is this... Okay, if you, oh, the plum and citrus in this, I don't even smell gardenia in this. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. Mistress of Evil, 100% going in my club. Holy shit. This is, I, I don't even know, like, how to explain to you, um, I would say if you like, like, plum scents, pomegranate scents, you like that, like, tart citrus. Um, this is my, no earmuffs in my world. I don't, this is my Facebook. Y'all know me better than to think I'm not going to drop a few words. Shit, this is so good. <sighs> um... It reminds me, I don't know if anybody remembers Country Plum. It's one of Dan's favorites. So I have a couple like hoarded still. Sorry, Noah. <laughs> um, but if you remember Country Plum, this is like Country Plum's like mature cousin. This is so, so much better. <laughs> we really like Country Plum. But like the, uh, the blood orange in here, which if you've ever had a blood orange, it's like kind of a sweet orange. It's got a little bit of raspberry flavor to it. So if you can imagine that with the plum, um, I think the gardenia and musk are just kind of like making it feel like she has depth, but this is so good. Whoa. That's like, these are like, they have a lot of depth to them. I love ones that have like, I love how, like, I feel like all of our fragrances have grown up. Does that make sense? I mean, I've been around for almost nine years, but, and I've been a customer for 12. So, um, I really feel like in that 
which makes me sound old. Um, it scared me too, Vicky, and I don't smell it at all. I don't smell it at all in this. Like, completely honest. Like, whatever it adds to this, it makes it smell like really, like, grown-up citrusy plum scent. It's super good. Like, whoa. Whoa. Holy shit, whoa. Um, so, uh, the third one in this bundle is Poor Unfortunate Souls. You poor unfortunate souls. So sad. So cute. Okay, this is... You know. Oh, this one smells good too. Holy shit. Okay. Um, this... Or the... I'm sorry, I don't look very closely at the packaging. It's also pretty... It's just sea stuff. I was wondering if Flotsam and Jetsam would be, like, in the packaging somewhere, but he's not. But it's it's such a pretty color. It's a really pretty blue. Um, this is... Wild blackberry, scarlet raspberry, and bubbly goji berry. I don't know anything about a goji berry. Um, and vengeful vanilla silk will leave you spellbound. <sighs> this is... Okay. See, I like tart fruity scents. I feel like Maleficent and Ursula are a little bit of a tart fruity scent. Evil Queen is very fall. Like, this is very fall. But if you need something in your life to break up all the fall and winter scents coming up, like, in your house, then you need both of these. These are maybe two of my all-time favorite scents that we've ever had. Um, I don't smell vanilla in this at all. Maybe it'll come out when I warm it. But it is very berry. It is very berry. But that makes sense because it's blackberry, raspberry, and goji berry. Again, I don't know what a goji berry is. That's why we have the Google machine. Um, let's see what the Google machine says a goji berry is. Anybody? Anybody had a goji berry before? I don't think I've ever seen a goji berry. It's just a really good berry scent. But again, like lots of depth. Goji berries. Oh, apparently they're used in health benefits now. Okay. I just want to see what a goji berry is. Oh, it looks weird. Okay, everybody, here's your homework. Go Google goji berry and look at what it looks like. It is super weird looking. It looks like, um, mm, it's very berry, but like in a good way, like lots of depth to it. Again, all three of these have like lots to them. Like they're very mature scents. Um, this is definitely my favorite. Definitely my favorite. The Mistress of Evil 100%, which Maleficent is one of my favorite, um, villains. So go figure um Ursula is like the villain like she is the queen of villains she's terrifying still to this day let's be real <laughs> this is this is a close second like give any given day these could flip flop for me and this is honestly one of the best apple-y scents we've ever had if you like warm wintry apple scents this is amazing so um that's the just one by evil queen um Goji berries look weird. They look like holly berries, kind of, but a little elongated. They're very weird looking. They're dried in a lot of these photos. They're very weird looking. Just so, just so we know. Just so you know. Native to Asia. They're in a lot of Chinese, Korean, Vietnamese, and Japanese medicine. This is your, this is your, you learn something new every day. I'm helping you out here. Um... Health foods, alternative medicine remedies. All right. Um, you can buy dried goji berries. Yeah, they look like raisins when they're dried, but like red. So that's that. There is no indication anywhere of what these actually taste like. But smelling this, I would guess they taste tart because this is a very tart berry fragrance. So... These are awesome. This packaging is amazing. I wish I could say I'm surprised, but I'm not. Because <laughs> let's be real. It's Scentsy, and we all know that whatever whatever is going to come out of Scentsy, and especially Scentsy and Disney, is going to be amazing. So let's, let's, just, be, let's just be real here. Y'all know. Y'all know. If you know, you know. Okay? I think I put these back in the right order. So cute. Okay. And... 
I did not get this warmer. I'm still debating whether I want it. It's still around, so I still have an option. But this is a customer's, and I'm going to show it off, and she won't care at all. She's a former consultant. But she got it because, one, this box is phenomenal. Again, our Disney packaging is ridiculous. Look at Ursula. Look at that. And then she's on the other side because this warmer has three faces to it three faces i am like i don't need this warmer but like i kind of want it because it's like the coolest warmer i think we've ever made and i say that about a lot of our warmers lately like a new one comes up oh my god okay um <laughs> all right it says evil i don't know if you can say evil is the new black dark and devilish devious dark and devious how funny is that? But ready? <laughs> Guys! Guys! <laughs> How amazing is that? <sighs> Sensi. Disney. It's, it's literally, like, you could frame this. This is just sitting on top. That's amazing. That's amazing. Only, only Sensi and Disney, right? All right, this is the dish. How cool is that? It's the poison apple. Christy, I'm sorry if I can't get this back together. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I will totally be able to get it back together. I'm a genius at Tetris. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll show you in pieces, shall we? undo this so I can plug it in here in a second okay so this is the base which the base has the vines on it and right in the front is the poison apple but this is this color I don't even know it's like a black purple and it's amazing holy crap comes with a green bulb. I did not realize that for some reason. I apparently missed that memo. Apparently missed that memo. All right, I'm gonna set the base down a second. It comes with this green tube. So I'm gonna show you. The green tube has, it, it has three scenes, okay? So it's got the dragon eye, it's got the mirror face, and then it's got Ariel, and flounder so good I'm gonna show you why it has that cool 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 this has lots of pieces it's a, it's one with pieces guys and then oh my god okay I might have to get this <laughs> this is stupid <laughs> I cannot handle okay <laughs> what the heck all right this <laughs> You guys, this blows my mind that this is my job. All right. <laughs> okay, so there's Evil Queen with the raven. There. Oh, my God. I'm all upset with the raven. Sorry. Evil Queen with the mirror, right? We know the mirror face. And then there's Ursula. Flotsam and Jetsam are over here. But this, do you see this like color and texture? Like, and it's kind of shiny. It's, and it's cauldron feeling. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so let's put this together so you can see what it looks like. Let me, let me plug it in real fast. <laughs> My mind is blown right now. All right. <laughs> it's so out of control. It's so out of control. All right. <laughs> I'm so giggly because it's so ridiculous. Oh, God. Okay. Who should we put first? So I got to make it face the front. Okay. Let's start with... Oh, I should put the light bulb in. <laughs> this is out of control. <laughs> okay. All right. Light bulb. Let's go, we're gonna go, make sure I put the right person forward. So this just rotates 
and it sits kind of, there's like little pads on here so it doesn't like scrape. I just wanna make sure I put the, like, put the right facing here. Who do I have here? Oh, that's not the right one. No wonder I'm confused. You can see me, I'm just rotating here. Okay. <laughs> So this just rotates on the base, like it sits and like green light's gonna come out of the bottom, which is its own kind of effect. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> it's so stupid. Why is this so good? I'm not gonna put the lid in. Um, so there's this one. Guys, <laughs> how is this real life? It's so good. It is pretty big. It's like the size of my face. It is a pretty big one. I won't lie, but it is beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> so then let's see. I'll rotate. Let's put Mal forward here. They see like it has, you know, which way is forward. Cause it has that. Now I just have to turn. I don't know if I'm turning in the right direction. It's hard to do it on the camera. Let me turn. Yes. <laughs> turn Mal forward and then you can see the dragon behind her it depends I guess on how which way you want it to go like how much you want it to show there it is right there that's that's the money shot isn't it yes it is I think I would leave that one forward it is <laughs> it's so good it's so good okay let's go let's put Ursula forward and see if I can line them up. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And then Ursula, it's little like her cauldron and she's watching Ariel and Flounder. <laughs> this is stupid. This is stupid. It's so good. It's so good. My heart. So and then this goes on top again it has the apple in it so i will show you like it's upside down but whatever i'm trying to hold it carefully um obviously that and it's that's just freaking phenomenal that's <laughs> that is stupid <laughs> it is so pretty and it's still available i don't know how <laughs> how this is still available. It is so beautiful, out of control. All right, so that's that. Go snag that before it's not available anymore. You're welcome because holy crap, holy crap guys, that's amazing. I'm just gonna wrap this cord up real fast. Wowzer, wowzer. <laughs> Doesn't that blow your mind? Like, I can't even get over seeing, like, Disney and Sensi in, like, the same realm together. And it's existed for over two years now. And I still can't get over it. And then they make shit like that. And I'm just, like, out of control. It's out of control. It's out of control. All right. You, sit right there. One more thing. I only got one of the buddies. But this is very appropriate. You can see which one I got if you're very clever. Um, this is very appropriate because um, these just went back on pre-order because Mike and Sully both sold out. Sully sold out in like 15 minutes. Mike sold out in the first hour. Just crazy ridiculous. Like more than double what we've like ever sold for a buddy before. Um, yeah. Yeah ridiculous and I have almost every Disney buddy um I won't lie I'm not a huge Mike Wazowski fan so maybe I'll pre-order him I wasn't worried about him though I was worried about Sully he is one of the best Disney characters ever like John Goodman brilliant okay um if you've never seen our buddy boxes the Disney ones are just out of control they're so good they again just the details they put on the Disney stuff is amazing um so but <laughs> this is like the softest buddy we've ever had. Holy crap. Okay. <sighs> All right. Is anybody else a monsters person? Anybody? Oh my God. Look at how big your feet are. Okay. Look, 
look at his little sideways smile. Look at his horns. He's like all smushed up from being in the box. Look at how giant his hands are. He's got little claws. Look at how big his feet are. Oh my God. Plus like, I can't. I love him so much. He is so soft. Look at his purple dots. Oh my God, if I was a little kid, I would like be squealing. This is, I'm, I'm surprised I'm not. But this is maybe one of my favorite details we've ever included. He has a 2319. I cannot, his zipper pull, because buddies come with a uh, scent pack. So he'll unzip here. You put the scent pack in his back so he smells good, right? So he's gonna be hard to, hard to zip properly because of all of his cute fur. There we go. It does work. Okay. You can hardly, you can't even see the zipper on this one. It's like so hidden behind his fur. Um, but Mike and Sully both have 2319 poles, which is just one of the best details we've ever included in a buddy. This or any product maybe ever. This is amazing. And they're different. Like this is the, this is the appropriate sock for Sully. And Mike has his appropriate sock, and I can't. Literally one of the best details. His little goober face. Oh my god. Literally, I don't I don't know. This feels softer even than our normal like furry buddies. But um, oh I forgot to look up the I did get the bar as well. He's got his own fragrance. Um, and I did look that or get that as well. Let's see if I can make my computer come back on. I know it's citrusy. I'm trying to remember what it is. Um, it's Monstropolis, obviously. Uh, Monsters Inc. Monstropolis is the bar. Um, let's see. It's all right. I got it. I got it. I'm fully prepared for going live with you guys. Obviously you can be a hot mess and do my job. You're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome? All right. I know that's not the appropriate appropriate movie, but it's still Disney. Um, all right. This is Mandarin, Watermelon, Pineapple, Lush Palms. Oh, my God. I'm so excited about this scent. Oh, my God. Why are these all so good? This is stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. Oh my God. Guys. Look, I thought it was going to be super duper fruity, which it's not like the palms balances out the fruit. So it's fruity, but clean. And this... It's so familiar. I feel like maybe maybe this smells like a Disney resort or something. It's so familiar. This smells amazing. It's very summery. So if you're looking for wintry scents, this is not it. But if you like fruity, you like a little bit of clean. It's not it's not a clean scent. It's just got a little bit of clean, clean to it. Fruity breeze. There we go. It's a fruity breeze scent. It is awesome. It is awesome. Oh, I love this. Love this. Okay. Love this. Love that. Love it. Love it. All right. So basically all of those scents are amazing. So ridiculous. So freaking good. Need to go grab them all. Um, and add them to your Scentsy Club so you have them even after they get sold out. Um, very important, right? We want to make sure we have them all. Um, I'm just going to make sure I tell you all the right things. Um, Pre-sale for Mike and Sully are up. Um, you just have to put $10 down. The rest is due when they come in. Um, Monsters, Monstropolis, Sensi Bar, still available, $6.50. And Disney Villains, both are here. The Wax Collection is $20, or you can add them to Sensi Club individually. And the amazing, ridiculous, insane warmer is $75 um, and is still available as well. DawnGetsWaxy.com, under collections, you can see villains and monsters. They're the first two things. Um, and that's my haul today. That's it. And it's ridiculous. And this is my life.
and yeah. I love you guys. Thanks for <laughs> hanging out with me and dealing with my freak outs about fragrance and Disney things. And we'll see you next time.